and welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. My name is Janelle and I am the owner of So True Candles. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I do to ensure that my candle smells strong when it's burning and when it's not burning. So basically to have a good cold throw and hot throw. For those of you who don't know what a cold throw and hot throw is, is hot. A cold throw is how your candle smells when it's not burning and a hot throw is how your candle smell when it's burning so yeah before we get into this video make sure that you are subscribed make sure you hit the subscribe button and let's get started okay so first things first what wax are you using you have to make sure that whatever wax you decide to use for your candles whether that be coconut wax soy wax coconut soy wax or paraffin wax you have to make sure that you are familiar with it and just know all about your wax. Which brings me to tip number two is what temperature to melt your wax to. So like I mentioned, every wax is different. So you want to make sure that you are melting your wax to the right temperature that's going to be hot enough for the fragrance oil and the wax to mix and bind well. For example, coconut wax is best to melt at a higher temperature, so around 200 to 215. And soy wax is best whenever you melt it to 185 degrees. Tip three, what percentage of fragrance oil are you using? All wax hold different amounts of fragrance oil, so you want to make sure that you know the amount, like the maximum amount of fragrance oil that your wax use. I use coconut soy wax, so my wax holds 10%. And for some of my candles, I use 8% fragrance oil, and for some, I use 9%, and for some, I use 10 I did my testing, and I found that some fragrance oil works best with 8% and some with 9 So you just want to make sure that you do your testing, but make sure that you are not adding more fragrance oil than your wax can handle. And tip number four, I feel like it's very, very, very important. I think this is the most important tip of all the tips. And it's at what temperature do you add your fragrance oil? I like to add my fragrance oil at around 185 to 190. I find that my wax is still hot enough for the fragrance oil and the wax to bind and mix very well. Nothing lower than that. I feel like that's when it just works best and that's whenever I get a good hot and cold throw. And once I add the fragrance oil, I like to mix and stir my wax for around two minutes. Nothing less than that, two minutes. To make sure that the wax and the fragrance oil are binding and mixing very, very well. And number five, Lastly is cure time to make sure to cure your candles. So This is different for everybody and for every wax There's some wax that don't require for you to um, to cure the candle like for instance, I think uh, Paraffin I've never used paraffin wax, but I've read that you don't need to cure paraffin uh, candles but I use coconut soy wax and To be honest, there's been times that I cure my candles for about a week that's, I always cure my candles about a week, but I have burned a candle within a few days of me making it, like maybe like three days or two days, and it has a good scent throw. So yeah, you want to make sure that you're curing your candles to from through at least three days to a week or maybe two weeks. Um, some some fragrance oil are stronger than others, so you just gotta do your testing and make and find out which fragrance oils don't need that much cure time rather than the other ones. So just do your testing because like I said, some of some of the candles that I have burned within a few days have a good hot thrill and some require for me to cure them about two, around two weeks for them to have a good cold and hot throw. So yeah, you just gotta do some testing. All right, so that is it for this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and see you guys in my next video. Bye.